Snorlax stalls were my favorite picks in the standard format, and the deck got so much better because with the new Erica's Invitation card, we can just put an annoying Pokemon onto their bench, drag it right into the active spot, and completely trap them thanks to the block Snorlax. Completely, I'm um, just removing that extra step that, that um, we had to have to do with the old Manaphy promo, actually making this deck a lot better and maybe actually a viable pick in the standard format. So there's a list I'll be using today, pretty much just copy pasted from last format, except took out the Manaphy and put in Erica. Always tons of fun to rock control, so let's see how it goes on the ladder. Here we are with the Snorlax stall. I'm excited to see how this goes today. Erica seems like a huge buff for the deck and from playing it a few games off camera just to test it out, I can tell you Erica is the real deal. So I'm hoping to get some exciting plays off with it. Um, but we'll see. Uh, going second, I also feel like going second might be better for this list or for this archetype. Our opening hand is full of, uh, it's, I want to say it's full of, what, what kind of need this gear to hit to have a super Poggers turn one. Uh, we see Raikou, this could be Lost Box or Maridon. I feel like Maridon would be a better matchup for us just because they play so many fewer switch switching cards. Really, Mimikyu isn't quite as good into the Maridon matchup now because they have Mew. Uh, like, even if they're playing, like, I don't think you're, you're playing Mew without Flaffy though, but just like being a, any, like, Mimikyu in general is a lot worse because Mew can just copy it and knock it out. So, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a Maridon deck. I wonder if it's a Maridon Flaffy build or it's just like a straight Turbo Maridon. I don't think like a regular Maridon builds were that good. Uh, it just looked like to be regular Maridon, but they left themselves no space for an answer to Mimikyu. So I'm just nest playing a Mimikyu and <laughs> that's the game. <laughs> what the heck? Why would you play this way? I guess like Rotom isn't, it's like kind of, but you like, I think if you see Rotom, you should be like, yeah, this is some sort of control, control. <laughs> stole, stole, stall slash control. Like I'm keeping that in there. I'm so bad at life. Um, I should have probably played a bit, but who, who cares? The game's over. Watch them play like Penny or something. Oh, yeah. There we go. Watch. That'd be so funny. All right, well played opponents. Sometimes Maridons do play Penny. What would be even crazier is if they drop like a canceling cologne. They didn't instantly concede. I'm not playing Psychic Energy, so I have like no way of playing this game quickly. Come on. Canceling cologne. I want to see it, please. Do you play cologne now because of. Okay, there's Phil Search. And they concede. Boss the deck. Already 1 0. Let's get it. All right. That was a quick and easy clap that first game, but we're going to run it back. Hopefully, we can get something where we actually can use the uh, other part of the deck. Always funny, though, to get those games like that. Like, I don't know why my opponent. You see, Rotom. At least my first thought would be some sort of controlling deck, playing Mimikyu, Mill Tank, or both. Um, So I would think that you'd probably play around that, but whatever. We'll take it. Actually, we're in a pretty good hands. If like I open Snorlax, like you take out a uh, switch card and put in a Snorlax instead. Uh, but we're still fine. We'll be all right. My opponent's uh, figuring out what they want to open with. I actually want to be able to get value out of Erica. Yeah, I just want to be able to use like the cool new stuff. Like, I don't, like Mimikyu's fun and all, but like, everybody already knows that Mimikyu can do stuff. I want to get some some real spicy Erica plays. Squawkability is something that is very trappable. Uh, but also, this could be Lugia. This could be... Uh, this is another Maridon deck. Bro, give me something else. I, I get the Maridon. I've uh, just got Zapdos and Mew, but like for the video, you didn't read the script. Like you guys are a little bit behind the scenes here. When I'm playing these ladder games, I make sure and give all my random opponents on ladder the script so they know what I'm playing and they know how they're supposed to lose to me to look amazing for the video. These people really miss the memo. I'm gonna have to get some new paid actors because these ones are not being very cooperative. At least they've read the script right on the generator whiffing. So yeah, yeah. once again, a game where we cannot use Erica because my opponent just go ahead. Uh, I'll bench all my stuff, trap whatever you want. Let's check, is, is Rotom in there? It sure is. So we can get all the ball search going and get down to the P pass. I don't know if I forest seal just yet. Lorena is like probably the one of the, I don't know, it's it's such a horrible starter. Really anything aside from Snorlax or Ditto is pretty bad. I would say the, the likelihood I, I get knocked out next turn is fairly low. So I'm gonna hold this, hold the forest seal stone. Next turn I can either penny the active and keep the squawk trapped. I'm like assuming that they're probably going to KO this czar. Yeah, they're gonna get the forest seal, the other generator. Yeah, they really, okay, I'm glad they like kind of picked up the memo though, that like the script says do not use uh, generators. I actually kind of like this because my opponent, my opponent, yeah, she's swinging at me with, with Raikou. I get the Forest Seal value and then pick the, it, it up with a Penny. It is a bit scary to Penny this early, especially against a deck that plays a little bit of hand disruption like Maridon. Uh, we still don't know if it's like a path judge build. That'd be pretty scary. So there's attached to the active and then Lightning Rondo for just 180 damage. So now I can use Forest Seal Stone and right, let's check the 
the price could with a suit and heavy ball. Double sisters and double switchers is kind of wild. I right, was going to use that star alchemy. I'm going to grab um, a misfortune sisters, I think. Actually, pod helmet's pretty solid. Actually, I, I think bravery charms. But this, I like all my Snorlaxes. That, that did 180, so all the Snorlaxes are, are tanking out here. I don't need to play that gear, so I'm just going to pass. I can gear that I get, it gets Ayana to, to the bottom, potentially. So yeah, getting the, the charm was good, so this Snorlax can get a little extra value. Uh, they dropped that for a seal stone, play an ultra ball. It was nice to see them spend a rope early like that and not go for was it that's just, just one more way that they can get stuck. So they will do that, play an Ayana. So that's pretty unfortunate with the hand that we had. Don't get a ton to work with off of this. I'll probably be using Arvin to get a cross switchers to drag up squawk ability once again. All right, Lightning Rondo, not enough as we get to like buy a turn thanks to that. Echoing Horn is not useful. I'm just gonna grab the other cross switcher the pot helmet and i'm going to just gust up that squawk ability actually maybe should choose to bring up the flaffy the like flaffy can swing for a more or a lot more damage uh but also like if my opponent plays boss they can just attach retreat so yeah i probably should have brought the flaffy uh so they still like, have to like load its energies onto it to retreat like really electro like i can like a pot helmet and still the czar and play and be fine but, yeah, the hand's looking sketchy though i can like, lean, but there really isn't anything that's worthwhile to put back before a seal stone just grab that switch cart and then can actually knock out my snorlax in this hands looking pretty sad but for the forest seal on the flaffy taking a one hit knockout and has not spent any boss orders we have like the sisters being prized sort of scuffs things up a little bit rotom but this is like non rule box, right? I'm going to use Elegant Heal for sure. So this is currently 140. I need more cards. So as bad as this feels, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and drop this Silene. Silene sucks. I swear I like never get real value out of Silene ever. This is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie, guys. We can't seem to find really anything <laughs> right now. Getting a couple energies. So they can like start to do dynamo or maybe put the energies on their flaffies so like they can actually attack, make it easier for them to move their guys around or even like swing flaffy into Mimikyu. Yeah, that looks like what they're going to try to do. So that's kind of interesting. Like I, then we can go uh, Penny into Pod Helmeted Snorlax. How they play that judge. All right, we, have, we have eight bosses orders. That's pretty good. Oh, they just don't even do anything. All right, I'll just play boss, pull up this Flaffy. I'll uh, drop Forest Seal on this Arena so we don't ever redraw that card. I don't need to play Pal Pad yet. Go Elegant Heal just to keep uh, getting the Snorlax cleaned up. And then we'll just instant charge. Really not a whole lot. Like, the Erica is totally worthless with how they build up their bench already on the first turn. If they go attach, pass. So, I'm, yeah, we'll just do this. I'm actually going to shovel back in Double Penny. I No, not boss. Boss is good, but I, I kind of want the... The pennies. The elegant heel is like just making this Snorlax ready to go now. Have that Pokemon catcher chilling in, in the hands. Like this might force my opponent to either play a boss or play uh their other escape rope. Just at, at least spreads their resources a little bit thinner. There's another lightning energy. So I actually could like start swinging with Electro Ball too. That wouldn't be horrible for them. All right, let's Nest Ball get down another Snorlax. So I, I'd like to find Misfortune Sisters or Penny off of this Pokey Gear. We find both. Now which one's better? I kind of need one more Snorlax hit or one more Rotom hit. So I'm going to Elegant Heal, but then I'm going to Penny and pick up the Zarina. So we just need one more. We just need one more Penny to just have all the Snorlaxes down. And uh, yeah, we got this guy pretty cleaned up. Only 30 damage left, and it did have like what 160 on it. Yeah, just a, a draw pass. So if I could like start using the Misfortune Sisters, that'd be pretty nice. I think I'm just going to use. I guess. Team Yellow Cheer could be back in any boss and Silene. I don't know if I need to do that yet. Let's just thin out the deck with an Arvin. I can get the, get a Pokey Gear and Pot Helmet. And then we'll instant charge. I, I sort of got to slow it down a little bit here. I, I, I should always deck out after my opponent just with Pal Pads with Silene's. So it looks like my opponent's probably going to attack with the Maridon. So I actually don't need to spend boss next turn. I, I Because this thing is just stuck. So it's, uh, yeah, if it can't retreat, it can't attack thanks to uh, Photon Blaster. So you need to switch to attack anyway. So I can just chill with uh, with Snorlaxes in play. So we have, to, if they 
three more switches they can win this game it is possible so it'd be nice to get it in his fortune sisters mill a couple of those there's a peonia and that's not a bad hit either my deck's just straight supporter cards pokey gear i'm gonna grab them as fortune sisters hope we can hit one of those switches rods or rope i mean uh okay not anything super major base electric generator is it's, it's something i think i just go ahead and swing it back over to my opponent the next turn i'll drop that pokemon catcher i'll try to pull up the squawk of billy and then i will uh, play peonia if it hits but if it doesn't, I'll play a boss's orders and just bring up the squawk. It it's tails, so I can just go ahead and bring up squawk ability. And then we just pass it on over. I want to save the pad to combine with a team yell cheer. Just so like we always can have more cards in my opponent. I feel confident that we can deck my opponent out or run them out of sw switching cards. Just, like I just never want to deck out after them. Or deck out before them. I always want to deck out after them. All right, let's go ahead and peony. Like I have penny, so I always can last. I like that they're never able never able to take six prizes with, with the squawk ability. You can put those three useless cards into to the loss soon. Now I'm just fine passing it back over. Then we can start using Miss Fortune Sisters a couple turns in a row and hopefully hit one of those switches or ropes. But yeah, they can go for the eight shot with motivates. I, I could I could just put the pot helmet on there. I kind of want to hold the pot helmet for until I've seen one more switching card. There is a card that is a huge hit. Uh, so then we just can pass back over. And they just concede as another dub over Maridon busted snorlax deck all right let's see if we can close out this into an undefeated video i really hoping to be able to use erica and if i don't get use erica this game <laughs> this match will probably get cut honestly i'm determined i want to use erica i want <laughs> erica hurts like okay here i am i'm in your opening hand james but uh didn't come along with the basic pokemon all the four supporters in this deck make this deck like so clean like i don't know i just like all different colors i don't know it just makes me happy to have cards like this in my hands it's just very satisfying my opponent is picking a number and is a lost box deck i'm kind of worried to see how this goes it is a lost tina this is a fitting way to end the video if if we can't beat lost box if we can't beat lost box tina then what is the point in playing this deck right well it's fine <laughs> all right they the concealed cards going i love being able to use concealed cards out the backwards pokemon card one of my favorite uh, abilities in the game um my my hands like very reliant on this pokey gear hitting they just vip just for the one comfy they're playing kind of uh minimalistic here like still this benching comfies like i think if you can afford to just getting like one tina and play a best seeking spam but, like i know it's closed less ladder like you're never gonna open tina when you can potentially open comfy is that path to the peak and a pass so path, okay, Arvin makes my life a lot better. Unfortunately, I can't like instant charge. Well, I actually, I can't. I can grab a temple of Sinnoh. Yeah, so that's what I, I, I would want to do. Put a VIP pass down a Snorlax and a Rotom. I just for a Steel Stone in turn one and that kind of stinks, but I really have to improve this hand. Uh, so I'm going to use it and get that Temple of Sinnoh. I, I, I don't mind dropping Temple early, making it harder for them to pivot between their guys early on. And then we just instant charge. Misfortune Sisters is nice, but the other stuff is kind of mid. I, I don't like having Mimikyu as an opener. It means I have to use two pennies to clean up this board state. So it might just turn into like a some uh, cram fodder um yeah I, I don't want to take play boss orders when i don't have lax in the active spots my next turn might be using misfortune sisters it could be using penny as well just to pick up this mimikyu i would like another snorlax though um before i did that so it might just be sisters trying to get like uh because there are a lot of item cards that um if i discard them can be pretty disastrous for the lost box player looks like they're gonna go for an abyss seeking oh why would you touch the energy early like this when you're playing chorus you could still find jet energy and do some stuff i know i have temple in play but like at least keep all your options open this card is still backwards though it's a basic psychic energy all right cool i'm seeing some pretty solid luck with with lost zones early on no switch cards no rods uh just like, really the most painful thing is a grass energy and even that like i'm not playing energy denial so not too bad they just so don't run over to me. Crab is not good just yet. I'm gonna leave that Pokey Gear. Just grabbing the other Misfortune Sisters. I think I'm just gonna Sisters this turn. 
EIP pass. Do I even mill that? I guess probably. There's like an argument just like keeping it in the, the deck just so they um have one more bad card they can draw. It's like a pain free loss. All right. Erica is good. I just like want to find more access to Snorlaxes. So I might, I don't, I don't want to use my supporter for turn playing Arvin. I'd rather be doing something a lot more proactive. I have not been able to find any of my nest balls or any of my other Snorlaxes. So my opponent can get to the Mirage Gate this turn by looking to use Shred. Still has really yet to have anything super awful get put a loss soon. There is that Mirage Gate coming on down. If my opponent goes for the Shred, I'm probably going to use Arvin to get Bravery, Charm, and Nest Ball. Uh, just so like this thing can tank a Shred. And then I can instant charge, keep filling up the hands. Jet will not do any, I guess, okay, no jet to retreat. Well, that's, that's good. If they have to use the basic energy like that, I'm, I'm definitely down for that. Yeah, they had very good fortune. They didn't have misfortune. <laughs> they had, um, it, they didn't have to really go super aggressive on the resources just to get here um, in a timely fashion. So let's go ahead and play Arvin. Did I prize a Snorlax? I did not, so I can't grab his suit and heavy. That's still fine. We can go ahead and drop this nest ball and get another Snorlax down. I uh, just so like if my opponent plays rope, they can't just drag up my Snorlax. Right, I'll drop the bravery charm and then just another instant charge. Okay, Pokemon catcher's pretty good. I'm still like I've not seen a cross switcher at all today, basically. Uh so my next turn. I have a few different options I can try to do. Erica could be kind of interesting. Um, it could like put down a Manaphy. You could put down another Comfy. They just choose to shred. I don't know if I play Erica. I probably Crosswood is a solid find. I'm, I'm gonna see if, if I can do the Pokemon Catcher. Unfortunately, not. I, I'm gonna play Erica. I, I this. Another comfy like that's just dang their hands like absolutely gas though with switch cards. I have rope cart boss everything. All right. Well, this is gonna be a very challenging game to win. Just like seeing all that in my opponent's hands. All right, we find Penny. I I maybe could have played Penny and just like just like deny the prize. How bad is this? It baits them to Tina V-Star. And, and if they want to just keep chilling with Shred, then I can just Penny and pick it up. We know they still have a Jet Energy in hand, and they still have a Switch cart. Just a Shred, they're not getting too aggressive. I think that's probably the correct call for them. Which is sort of unfortunate that I don't have a whole lot going on myself. Like, I can't super hard punish this. I could just go like Penny Crab. I kind of actually like that. Like, I, I want them to evolve. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. I can still take the Rotom out of play. But also, I can actually like, apply some pressure, not be just immediately laying down some prizes myself. I right, can go for that trigger avalanche. Hitting a super odd is a nice find. Would have preferred to find some jets or something, but hey, it's, it's, it's all right. Like, or like a pass to the peak, any sort of stadium counter. And yeah, they, they have a water energy. I'm assuming 18 of V star as well. Okay, that's really not what we wanted to have happen. Yep, they choose to V-Star, then they can lost impact, knock out this Carbominable. They're not quite at the uh, 10 into the loss zone. I guess that is like some sort of silver lining. Like I don't have like my, my cross switches in hand and stuff. Like I have to like physically use boss. And like I can't use sisters to mill switching cards. They have like a rope or they have a car as their other pivot option in hand. Right, 
we'll go ahead and get that down. I'm just gonna gear. I should have done this a long time ago. Right, just boss's orders and drag up three incarnate ninja. It's probably still too much to ask for at this point. Like they still have. So probably have at least two cards and two ropes, or yeah, probably just a combination of four switching cards, two to three jet energies. So there's that pokey gear, boss's orders is no help. Yeah, it's just really unfortunate that they were able to set up as well as they did without having to spend too many switching cards. If we can get a little little time to stabilize, like if my opponent like, doesn't want to, like, well they can't. I think, yeah, they really would prefer not to like, like attach lost impact again. Like switch attach lost impact. There is a cart. You like to see it. Jet energy. Well, I'm I'm cool with seeing jet used just to fulfill the attack cost of lost impact. Okay. We still have like probably too much. Uh too much to get done. But it's boss the reading Greninja again. Oh, actually, uh, cross switchers is a lot better. And then I at least can use Misfortune Sisters. Maybe hit a switching card. There's a card. We needed that. Still have Jet and Path though, so oh, we still don't have enough. How about it? That is three card, one rope. They still have two jets left, or yeah, we know they have one more jet left. Only spent two. Uh, so probably still have two switching cards, which is enough to close it out. Attaching down there. This is gonna be very a very tight finish. I'm just gonna miss it. I'm yeah. I'm, the opponent might not have anything this turn if they don't have that rope in hands. They actually choose to Colrus. Okay. Nothing relevant there. I should just take the other Colrus. I would like to like maybe like a little bit of time to like maybe get like the, the uh, crab pieces together. Get like the, the crab water energy. That might be the way I close up this game with six in, in hand like that. Or six in deck. They just pass. Okay. I'm going to use MS4 just once again. The deck gave me another one. VIP pass. There's still jet and path to the peak. All right. I'll just pass it back over. Uh, I hope that the path to the peak is the very bottom card of their deck. Water to the active. Oh, I guess they could go for a Moonlight Shuriken play. Or they can at least threaten that. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use Penny this turn, probably. Pick that guy up. Okay, yeah, just a pass. A oh, Pokey Gear. That's Clara. Okay, I'm. Yes, we have to play Clara then. And get back this. All right, if my opponent doesn't have it this turn, I, I think I can win. Yes, yes. Hopefully they don't have it. Yeah, hopefully that only, their, their only out left is path plus jet energy. They're just stuck in top deck mode. They just pass. Okay. We have a shot. What even is the the, the, the supporter for this turn? Probably. Is there a pen? No, I can't penny. It's just going to be playing sisters. Wait, that, that that's rope. We win next turn. Oh, that's huge. I wasn't even thinking to use the misfortune sisters, honestly. I was I was thinking of using something else. I guess they, they might play I Iona. So, I'm going to... I'll pad back in a penny just so it's it's in deck. 
I probably still can't put the the pieces together. If we get Ionode, I'll just put that in in place. We don't redraw it. And yeah, we we pass. If my opponent does not have it in hand this turn, we win this game with the trigger avalanche. That's crazy. Somehow able to find a way. Oh, there's the pass of the peak plus jet. But even if if we don't have trigger avalanche, like they played that at Ayano. Okay. They, that still could be all of their switching outs. I played energy search already though, didn't I? Shoot. All right, finding temple is big. <laughs> this is such a crazy game. I could Arvin for cross switchers. Suey and heavy. Nobody's home. Okay. Well, I suppose that this is what we have. Let's cross switchers up. Uh, comfy. Drop Temple of Sinnoh. And pass it back over. Wait, no, I should have brought up the Rainy Grenier. There, there are two waters in the Lost Zone. My opponent actually can use Spinning Attack. I should have actually benched another Snorlax prior to the... Uh, prior to the... Uh, Iono turn. I should have benched that other Snorlax. Then we can go Penny and have a lot more time. They have another Path to the Peak. But no jet energy, just j just passing. Okay. Double heads is massive. I'm gonna put the other Temple of Sinnoh and then a Snorlax. Washing well, Nest Ball is, is better because it thins the one that I have out of the deck. Actually, ooh, I think. I, I need to do this carefully and have Snorlax first, because if my opponent can get to the spinning attack next turn, that would be horrible. So I'll go ahead and do that and then pass. Then we can next turn go Penny. Yeah, when spinning attack is their win con. I'm just like really scared though of that of uh, one more jet energy. There goes Manaphy. Like they're digging. Like yeah, they sh should definitely be digging for gate they just had the one like the energy to, to, to throw back in right, they just passed okay good this has been an absolutely wild game all right do they have jet energy or a um fourth cart third rope this turn Flower selecting that they're, they're still digging and that frightens me. They don't have any like actual draw cards though. They're just sort of stuck um, with this flower selecting. The Temple of Sinnoh may have been the better card to put on top. Just like without seeing my opponent's list. Like the list of wing water energies don't always have four jets. Mirage Gate. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna see a spinning attack. That is crazy. So, yeah, they could have done this last turn. So I think I did this right. Just with this being a water energy list, probably less likely that they have a jet energy than something like uh, one of those dehydrated lists. Like getting that Temple of Sinnoh down, and hopefully that is enough. That's three temples. So even if they do have that fourth jet energy. It shouldn't come into play. Like they should not. There should not be a vacuum or another stadium. Just another spinning attack. We can tank quite a few more of those. Erica, let's just check the hands. All right, I'll just put down this other comfy and bring it into the active spot. It's not how we intend to use Erica, but still pretty correct. Nothing in that hands that really threatened me at all. Another Mirage Gates. Just failing. 
and can see the game. That was awesome. I really, really like Snorlax now. It really exceeded my expectations. So I wonder where it would land on my tier list. 